Erectile dysfunction can be as a result of some physical or psychological factors, but sometimes it is neither physical or psychological. Rather, it is as a result of medical diseases. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Messi Miri, popularly known as a nurse with a difference, and today I'm going to be sharing with you five diseases that causes erectile dysfunction. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button. It's another notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Smith Museum. Thank you. All right, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you five diseases that can lead to erectile dysfunction. Sometimes erectile dysfunction might be as a result of stress, might be as a result of no money in the bank, might be as a result of the fact that you are not attracted to your partner, might be as a result of the quarrel you are having with your partner, the misunderstanding you are having with your partner. In some way, it might be as a result of some physical or psychological causes or even emotional trauma. But if it is neither physical, psychological, emotional or otherwise then it could be as a result of some medical condition and we all know in a lemma's language erectile dysfunction is simply the inability of a man to get erected and also to sustain that erection during sexual intercourse so the first on our list when it comes to the disease condition guess it is diabetes mellitus in simple term Diabetes, yes, increased glucose level. You see this thing called diabetes. It has impact on the eyes. It has impact on the kidney. It has impact on the heart. It also has impact when it comes to erectile dysfunction. Why? Because an increased glucose level can lead to the damage of the nerves, which is known as neuropathy. And it can also lead to damage of the blood vessels. And we all know that for infection to take place, there has to be an increased blood flow. And when there is damage to these blood vessels, there is damage to these nerves, there's not going to be this sexual stimulation, and that results in erectile dysfunction. So if you have diabetes and you find out that you are battling with erectile dysfunction, the diabetes could be the cause. So what is advisable is for you to check your sugar level regularly, it to also take your medications regularly, and also focus on diabetic friendly food diabetes friendly food that is going to go a long way to help now that takes us to the second on the list which is heart disease yes heart disease can actually lead to erectile dysfunction and the one on my list is hypertension which is the increase in blood pressure increase in blood pressure can affect the flow of blood circulation to the penis and also there are some anti and hypertensive medication that can lead to lose sexual drive that can affect your sexual performance so if you're on some anti hypertensive medication definitely that might be the result of your erectile dysfunction then the third one I have to share with you is blood vessels issues problem with the blood vessels when there's hardening there's narrowing the blood vessels are not narrow you know when the blood vessels are narrow the penis is not going to get that full blood circulation it's not going to get that full blood supply so when there's hardening narrowing of the blood vessels that can lead to erectile dysfunction the fourth one i have to share with you is nerve and brain damage it will be difficult for you to get erection when there is something wrong with the nervous system you know the nervous system consists of the brain, the spinal cord, and things like that. But when there is a damage to the nervous system, getting erection is going to be a problem. Things like stroke, axillary disease, Parkinson disease, they affect the nervous system and can make erection difficult. Now that takes me to the fifth point I want to share with you, and that is kidney disease. We all know that the kidney helps to filter waste out of our body. The kidney helps to take those waste products out of our body. But when there's an issue with the kidney, the kidney is unable to carry out that function of filtration that can lead to hypertension, that can affect erectile dysfunction. 
cause erectile dysfunction that can affect blood flow to the penis. So kidney disease increases your chances for erectile dysfunction. Now that takes me to the fifth and the last disease I want to share with you, which is hormonal imbalance. Yes, hormonal issues. We all know that as a man, as a woman, the hormones are messengers. They are the ones that carry it, like stimulations and things like that. They are busy in the body. So when there is an issue with your hormone, there's a hormonal imbalance, there could be a problem. For example, when there's an issue with the pituitary gland, well, the pituitary gland is very important when it comes to hormone production. That is likely going to cause erectile dysfunction. And that is something you should take note of so you know. So the bonus point I have to share with you before you go is that surgery can cause erectile dysfunction. You see the nerves and tissues that are associated with erection might be affected when one carry out a procedure involving prostate and bladder cancer. Sometimes these nerves and tissues that are affected might be for just from temporary period after months it comes back. But sometimes this damage might be permanent. So if you've just done a surgery involving the prostate or the bladder, that could be responsible for your recent erectile dysfunction you are experiencing as a man. So these are the points I have to share with you when it comes to erectile dysfunction and diseases causing erectile dysfunction. So the best advice I have to give when it comes to all these diseases, if you are hypertensive, get your medications right, speak with your doctor. If you are diabetic, get your medications right, also speak with your doctor. So whatsoever disease conditions you are battling with, it's very important for you to speak with your doctor. It's very important for you, have, for you to have an open conversation, open communication with your doctor. Let them know, oh, I have this sexual urge. I want to have sex, but I can't because I suffer from erectile dysfunction. I think it's the medication I am on. And also, I want to let you know that there are some medication as a man that you can be on that can cause erectile dysfunction. So it's very important that whatever medications you are going to take as an individual for you to know the side effects. Because once you know the side effects, it prepares you for what is ahead. Okay, yes, you are taking paracetamol. What is the side effect of this paracetamol? Not just sex alone, but your general health. You will want to know. You are taking this medication. What is the side effect? I want to know. So when you know the side effects, it prepares you for what is ahead and makes you not to be surprised when you are battling things like that. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Messi Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.